Hi, I'm Ron from carpools.com, and I'm here to talk to you today about the most frequently asked question to pool care. And that question is, how do I take care of the cloudy water in my pool? But before we get into the different causes of cloudy water, we have to understand what cloudy water is. And there are five levels that we're going to deal with. The first level is the water's crystal clear. This dime is your standard for water clarity. If you throw a dime into your pool, you should be able to tell whether it's heads or tails from the shallow end and the deep end. That's when you know that your water is crystal clear, and that's what you are heading, and that's what you want to have. The four measures of cloudy water are the water is dull. In other words, it's clear, but it doesn't have any sparkle to it. Well, many customers consider that to be normal. We don't want just normal. We want sparkling. We want brilliant. We want crystal clear water. The next level down is the water is hazy. You can see everything in the pool, but it's hazy. It's not crystal clear. The third down is cloudy. When we say a pool is cloudy, that means you cannot make out the bottom of the pool. The water is it is not sufficiently clear to see all the way down to the bottom. And then the fifth level is the water is opaque. In other words, you can't see through the water at all. It is it is it looks like you could almost walk on it. And that's what you definitely don't, don't want to have. The problem with any of these is that most customers come in and reach for a bottle of blue stuff. And the bottle of blue stuff, being a water clarifier, is not necessarily going to take care of your water clarity issue. And so we have to understand what, what contributes to cloudy water. We've put them into three categories. And the three categories of what contributes to cloudy water are there are environmental standards, there are mechanical standards, or there are chemical standards. Let's start with the environment. The environment means everything around us. The trees, the birds that are flying over, the construction site nearby, all of those can contribute to water clarity and therefore cloudy water. Even people using the pool can contribute and do contribute to cloudy water. They contribute to, people contribute to cloudy water because of our hairspray or body lotions, uh, makeup, deodorant, you name it, all of that stuff that goes into the pool that can cause water clarity issues. With most environmental problems, the way that, that you treat them is by regular, normal shocking of the pool. If you shock the pool once a week as you are supposed to, you can eliminate a lot of those environmental problems. One other environmental problem that, that most people don't think of is their solar blanket. Solar blanket is a really useful tool, but the problem is that over time it will grow stuff on the, on the surface touching the water. As that film grows, and we call that a biofilm, that will contaminate the pool and therefore cause cloudy water. A good thing to keep in mind is if you do have a solar blanket, remove it once a month, mop it down, clean it, chemically clean it, and, uh, and then return it back to the pool. The second group of cloudy water causes are mechanical. And when we talk about mechanical, we're referring to the filter and the pump and motor and your plumbing system and everything in between. If those are not working or, or operating properly, you will have cloudy water, guaranteed. Let's start with the filter first. Your filter should be operating at a minimum of 8 to 12 hours per day. That's per day, every day, from the day you open the pool until the day you close the pool. If you're in a part of the country where the pool is open year-round, but it, in, in the off-season it doesn't get too much use, you still want to operate that filter for 8 to 12 hours. That is going to eliminate a whole bunch of issues for you. The other question when it comes to the filter is, is the filter chemically clean? If the filter is not chemically clean, it cannot do the proper job of filtering. Next part of, um, of the mechanical portion is how is the circulation of, of the pool. 
are you getting sufficient water into the pool, into the filter, and then returning back to the pool clean? Most customers turn their eyeball, and that's that, that, that nozzle, so it's turning up so they can see ripples across the top of the water. You don't want to see that. You want to turn your eyeball and face it down towards the bottom of the pool. And that's going to force water down to the bottom, and then it, it will bring it up, and you will end up with much better circulation. Two other things that will help circulation tremendously and don't cost anything are brushing. Make sure you brush the pool on a regular basis. If the pool gets a decent amount of use, then once a week is fine. If it, if, if it is not used regularly, then you may want to brush it more often. The best, most cost-effective thing you can do to increase circulation in your pool is to swim in it. Get the kids over, swim in the pool, jump in the pool, use the pool as often as possible. If you want to make things really much better, you can use an item like this. This is called the circulator. And the circulator is a, is a great invention that we've been carrying for a couple of years. And this goes in place of your pool's return eyeball. goes in place, and what it does is it essentially turbocharges the water returning back into the pool. And it allows the water to spin and come out into the pool at about 1,500 times faster and better than what it can typically do. Um, great item and easy to, easy to install. The last part of, of, our, of our water clarity problems deal with the chemical issues. This is where too many people go to first. You want to make sure that the other issues are, are dealt with. You want to take care of the environmental issues. You want to take care of the mechanical issues. And then you can do the chemical. When we talk about chemical, we talk about the pH to begin with. If your pH is high, or if your total alkalinity is high, those will both cause and contribute to cloudy water. You want to maintain your, your, your pH in the 7.4 to 7.6 range, and your alkalinity between 80 and 120, depending on your pool type. Also, if you're using uh, uh, a calcium hypochlorite-based chlorine, you also want to maintain your, your calcium hardness level below 300 part per million. What we find with customers who are using calcium hypochlorite as a regular sanitizer, come midsummer, once the water temperature is up over 85 degrees Fahrenheit, the water will become cloudy. And it becomes cloudy because the water can no longer hold that calcium in solution, and it simply falls out. At that point, there's really not too much that, that you can do, aside from take a little bit of water out and add fresh water to dilute the calcium down. Also, when we talk about water chemistry and, and chemicals, you want to make sure, again, you are shocking the pool weekly. Other things that, that are going to help are the addition of enzymes. Enzymes are terrific products because what they do is they eat up a lot of the environmental stuff that falls into the pool. And when, when that's in there, it's also feeding the algae and everything works upon each other. So as, we, as you can eliminate some of those some of those environmental issues, you take care of the water all by itself. A couple other things that we have to show you. Make sure that, that you brush the pool on, a, on at least a weekly basis. Shock the pool each week or every two weeks to get rid of environmental waste. Use Aquafinesse pool water care tablets. This product is, is, does the job in removing biofilms from all pool surfaces. When you eliminate the biofilms, you eliminate the areas where, where problems can start to grow. Helps to maintain a better chlorine level easier. Enzymes we've talked about. Naturally Pure is, is a terrific enzyme that is coupled with a non-phosphorus uh, phosphate removing product and it just does an excellent job. Finally, if you want to get your give your filter a little bit of a boost, Pure fiber can be used on as either a diatomaceous earth alternative, it can be used to help a sand filter, or it can also be used to help a cartridge filter. And just a little bit helps to helps the filter to filter finer. That is how we deal with cloudy water. If you have any further questions, you can always email us at 
techhelp at parpools.com or you can visit our website at parpools.com forward slash cloudywater for more information. Thanks and enjoy the pool.